Think of this as a sequel to my why the cartoons are for kids argument is stupid and should reboots be compared to the original video, especially the reboot one because what I'm about to cover has a lot to do with that video. The it's a reboot and changes are bound to happen argument is one I've seen used several times. I used to fully agree with this argument but now I realize there are a few bugs with it. Now my main issue with this argument isn't that it's illogical, in fact it's completely true. Of course changes are bound to happen, it's a freaking reboot. Expecting it to be the same as the original is just dumb. The real issue is whether or not it can be used as a way to go against someone's statement. And the answer to that is yes, but it strongly depends on the context. Now I've seen this argument being used well and I'm going to share to you how I think this argument can be valid. Let's say for example, I love the original Teen Titans. I actually don't in real life, but in this case let's imagine I do. I then decide to watch Teen Titans Go and come to the conclusion that I hate it. I get so pissed that I feel motivated to make a video expressing how much I hate it. But throughout the entire video I just keep making the same point that the show is not like the original and I don't even bother elaborating on why it's a bad thing. In this case, the it's a reboot and changes are bound to happen argument can be applied because you only seem to be blindly mad at the fact that the show is different from the original, even though that's expected to happen because it's a reboot. Now let's picture a slightly different scenario. Let's imagine I'm still pissed at Teen Titans Go and in my video bashing on the show I explain in plain details why every change they made doesn't work. Now regardless if you actually agree with me or not, you should never use this argument. For the record I don't actually hate Teen Titans Go. To explain why I have to recycle something I've said in the past. A good show or a movie is a result of a number of key and essential elements that help create the final product, and if you even dare to alter some of the more important factors, it's going to damage the final product. Of course, that highly depends on what kind of readaptation and direction you're trying to take. And I'm sure there are probably people who believe that changes only truly hurt the people who are familiar with the source material, but I'm afraid I have to disagree. Imagine there was a version of Scooby Doo where they made Shaggy a muscular dude, but still made no alteration to his personality. That would be a terrible idea in my opinion, because one, the whole point of his character is the fact that he's a weak coward, so making him muscular kind of defeats that side of his character, and two, it doesn't even make any sense given how he constantly eats fast food. Do you see where I'm getting here? Sometimes making changes to the source material can make the readaptation worse, but of course, sometimes it can benefit. I thought making Batman a narcissist in the Lego Batman movie was a great idea for what they were going for. It really just depends on what they decide to change and saying that people should get over it just because changes are bound to happen in the reboot is just not right. You don't have to agree with his views but if he managed to explain in plain details why he felt the changes didn't work for him, you have to respect his opinion. And even in situations where his only argument is that it's different from the original, I would still say that this argument isn't the best way to start the conversation. Of course, if all he does is just shame the show for not being like the original, he's obviously being a fool. But if the person expresses that he's incapable of accepting the changes that were made, not necessarily because they're bad, but more because he's just too used to the source material, I don't think it's right to use this argument because if that's how he approached himself, then it's already implied that he knows changes are bound to happen, but it's just simply not working for him and I honestly don't think that's a bad thing. If I say I don't like how Blossom in the 2016 Powerpuff Girls is a nearly stereotypical nerd who's too orderly and germophobic and that I actually prefer her as a smart, slightly stuck up and exemplary leader, I think I have every right to express that. At the end of the day, you're watching my video to understand how I feel about a certain show and unless I fail at elaborating on why I dislike the changes that were made in an easy to understand way, then it's pointless to use this argument. And again, it's not that the argument is wrong, in fact, if you actually used it, you would technically be right. It's just that it's simply needless to point that out and it's even more inappropriate when the person deeply explained exactly why the changes that were made damaged the show. But hey, that's just my opinion. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye for now.